Well, thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a muggy day here in June. We've just had some nice rain the last couple days, so you know those plants are getting a nice deep soaking. So training those roots to go nice and deep into the soil that way they'll be we'll be able to take up some of those nutrients that are in the soil. So the Q&A for today is, what is your favorite type of garden mulch? So let's ask the question first, what is mulch or compost? So at its simplest, mulch is a layer of organic or inorganic material applied to the surface of the soil. Where compost is something you generally mix into the soil to amend your soil. You can think of mulch as the icing on the cake or maybe the carpet in your house. You know, it's just the top layer. So what are some of the benefits of the garden mulch? Well, we've had a lot of heavy rains lately and so it prevents soil erosion, especially when you have those tiny plants out in your garden. It also discourages weed growth. Obviously, with that two inch layer of mulch on the top of your soil, it's gonna block out sunlight and the goal is to suppress those weeds. Also, going back to soil erosion, you know, those heavy rains tend to hit the soil really hard and so it causes compaction in your soil. And so having that extra layer of mulch there acts as a cushion. Mulch can also improve the appearance of your garden. It can also retain soil moisture, which is really, really important. You know, you get that sun that's high in the sky, it's beating down on those plants, and you get a lot of soil evaporation. And so with that two inch layer of mulch there, it's gonna really retain the soil moisture, moisture which is really, really important. So what are some of your organic mulches? Well, leaves are good, but you want to make sure you shred them real well, maybe with your lawn mower. Uh, lawn clippings can be okay. The only problem with that, you want to make sure there's no herbicide or weed killer that was sprayed on those grass clippings. Otherwise, it's going to do harm to your plants and also to your soil. You can also use compost. But generally compost is something you mix into the soil to add additional nutrients. But in the past I have added some of my composted leaf mulch that's amended with topsoil. I have added that around some plants as a uh, mulch. So returning to the Q&A for today, what is your favorite mulch? Well, my favorite mulch is shredded straw bedding. So let me explain how I found out that to be my favorite mulch. Well, my daughter Julie had some rabbits in the past and she used this mulch as bedding for her rabbits. She gave me the leftover bale and last fall I installed that around some of my garden plants and I really, really liked using it. It was really user friendly. It was composted or shredded up nice and easy to tuck in around all your plants. So that's how I discovered that to be my favorite mulch. The bale of straw bedding, I purchased it from Harleysville Feed here in Harleysville. I paid around $14. You can also buy other types of that same shredded straw from other suppliers. I think Tractor Supply also has some straw bedding there. But what I really like is it's easy to put in between those tiny plants and seedlings. It greatly improves the worm activity for a healthier garden and it really easily composts into the soil at the end of the season. I generally just turn it over into the soil. And the compressed cube of that is three cubic feet and it expands to 10 to 12 cubic feet. So it covers a pretty big area. Another important point to remember is when to add your mulch. So in, in general, mid to late spring is, is mulching season. You know, when the soil is warming up from the freezing temperatures during the winter. 
Doing it early will slow down the warming process of the soil. So let's watch a video I created installing this shredded straw bedding. Before I get started installing the straw bedding, I want to go through my garden beds with my scuffle hoe and kill any of the weeds that are there. Hey Bailey, he's a good boy. You get out of that garden. Now that I'm ready to install this shredded straw, take my utility knife and I'm going to empty it into this lawn cart rather than work it out of the bag and it makes it a lot easier to install in the garden but you can see how nice and finely shredded it is so it's easy to install around those tiny plants but it's really nicely shredded which makes it really easy to install. So I just start taking handfuls and you can just start laying it in around your plants. I would lay at least a two inch layer there of the straw. This compressed bale has three cubic feet of the straw but it expands to about 10 to 12 cubic feet once you open the pack. You could also use this for your pathways in your garden. But you know, this is one of the, the gardener's best friends is mulch. Packs in real nice around these tiny plants. And what's nice is at the end of the season, you can just till this into your soil. I use my garden fork and just go around and turn it under. And because it's nice, finely shredded, it really decomposes in the soil really nice. As you can see, this shredded garden straw not only looks nice, but it's going to be super healthy for your plants and for your garden soil. Hi, Billy. How's my good boy doing today? Thanks for joining me out in the garden. Well, I can hear this cat bird has been active all morning here in the garden. You know, I always thought cat birds just made that cat meow sound, but I checked online and boy, those birds really sing quite the beautiful song. Also, keep those good garden questions coming and leave them in the comment section below. I have a question for you. What is your favorite type of garden mulch and why do you use that particular type of mulch in your garden? And so please leave in the comment section below what type of garden mulch you use in your garden, in your area. You know, I realize I certainly don't have all the answers I just turned 66 years old this year and uh, one thing I love to do is learn from other people. And so I watch a lot of YouTube videos, especially about videography and photography. And so a lot of these uh, YouTube videos I watch, I watch over and over and over again, depending on the subject matter. Because I realize I just can't watch something and, and learn things right away. Some things I can grasp sooner than others, but I think I'm pretty dense in some areas. So I, for myself personally, realize I have to watch certain videos over again in order to start to memorize and learn something. I've been gardening now for over 30 years. And so when I do my videos, I do a lot of research and study and I really try to fill my videos with as much information as possible. My hope is to raise your gardening IQ. Well, I hope this video was able to teach you the benefits of mulching your vegetable garden. So until next time, happy gardening. Bye for now.